think that's normal. Um, but I felt a little play like in the steering wheel. So look, it's moving by itself. I'm not touching it. I don't know if you guys can even see it. Get it, y'all. Let's go, man. Welcome back to Chuck's Daily Hustle, everybody. Keeping it moving and grooving like we always are. We are here at Mannheim, you guys. Getting ready to check out some vehicles. This is a dealer-only auction for the new guys that are here. Um, I already got a couple of cars started up. I wasn't going to do a video, but I'm going to go ahead and do it, man, because I can already hear y'all yelling at me, man. So I got a couple of cars started up. A um, couple of cars I don't like. Like, for instance, this... Um, Ford, uh, damn, I can't even think about it in my head right now. Ford uh, Ex Expedition, y'all. <laughs> Let me go back to the back because y'all like to correct me sometimes. Um, yes, Ford Expedition, like I said, man, it's the limited. Um, the reason why I'm leaving this one alone, you guys, is because of the running boards. I know that they can be a cheap fix, but I haven't personally um, encountered one of these yet. And I'm, so, I'm on a time crunch right now, so I don't really have time to uh, do a ton of research on it. So I got a whole bunch of vehicles to check out, you guys, a big old fat packet um and so i'm just gonna leave this one alone i needed to jump it anyway i was going to mess and this thing's got 99,000 miles 99,000 miles it's a 2015 okay um i'll show y'all the interior anyway the interior looks to be pretty decent obviously because of the year it's not that old um the tires they look to be decent as well uh, but once again like i said man i had to jump it and i don't know what's up with those running boards so i'm gonna go ahead and just leave that one alone um and I'm gonna show you guys where I'm at here. Hold on. Let's just go ahead and hop into this F-150, you guys. I did have to jump this one off. Have my uh, trusty new JNC 660, you guys. The link is in the description below if you decide you wanna buy it. Uh, that's the best jump pack in the world, man. A lot of you guys already know. Um, but I started this thing up. Tires look good all around. Um, I checked the rear diff and I checked the, uh, let me cut this off real quick. And then I also checked the, uh, under the engine, under the engine and the engine bay to see if there's any leaks um so so far so good you guys here's the dash 138,658 miles uh this is a 2013 you guys so here she is i need to get some pickup trucks in stock i'm gonna show you guys the whole body real quick i really really need to get some pickup trucks you guys i don't have any pickup trucks in stock so we gotta diversify the lot we gotta get it uh up to par man so we got that one going we're gonna take this one on a test drive for sure you guys um but i want to kind of show you guys kind of like what i'm looking at um right here you guys is a 2007 toyota camry um it has 229,000 miles okay so now as you guys are seeing right now i still buy both vehicles not both vehicles two different types of vehicles vehicles that are newer nicer i can sell for a lot of money and then also vehicles with higher miles that we can sell for a cheap price I gotta take this business call and then I'll jump right back on here with you guys. Back to the Toyota, you guys. So um, this thing here, check it out real quick. Got the leather interior, no check engine light on. The heat is blowing already. It's been running for about 10, 15 minutes. Tires look to be decent. It's most definitely gonna need a um, cleanup and it's gonna need a buff. With these black cars, I always get them buffed just because I like for it to pop. Um, and speaking of buffing, you guys already know, check out Resurrection Detail Services, Maplewood, Forest Lake location. If you're looking for that, dealers, retail customers, anybody. Um, so let's go ahead and put this thing on the track, you guys. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what she do, I mean. And I'm going to show you guys um, what is going on around us in this auction, you guys. So put her in reverse. I wonder if she got a backup camera. She does not. So that's all good. As you guys can see, man, lots and lots of vehicles out here. Lots and lots. They're gonna be filling this up all throughout the day. It's kind of shockingly quiet out here because there's not too many dealers, but um, there you guys go, man. Got you a young, uh, what is that, an F-350, I'm assuming? Yes, sir, it's the King Ranch. It's all types of vehicles out here, you guys. So um, if you guys are interested in getting, a, um, getting in an auction like this, man, you're gonna need a dealer's license. Um, start a used car dealership and you can start that in a small office um, with five spaces if you want to get a retail wholesale you can do that you guys um, with a um, pretty much I'm not gonna say any office but a lot of times many states will just let you go ahead and get in 
um, in a little small office building and then uh, you can get a wholesale license and uh, you won't be able to sell to the public though. Um, but that's just the only thing, okay? Um, but you will get access to this. Let's check this one out. Let's see what she do. All right. Yeah, I want this one, man. All right, so let's see how she drives. We got a couple of dealers out here, as you guys can see. They're driving some cars too. They're driving in some newer vehicles as well. So we up to 60 miles per hour. We got up to 60 miles per hour. Uh, the brakes and the suspension feel really, really well. So that's good. Hold on, y'all. My jump pack, man. This thing is famous for falling. I'm gonna throw that down. All right. So we're gonna do it one more time. Put her on the test track. See what she do. This thing doesn't have uh, any backup sensors from what I heard. So it is what it is. This there's, oh, there's some cars over here too, you guys. So I don't know what's going on. They must be, uh, they, there's a couple of those cars I saw in a different lane so last week. So they must be moving some stuff around. But here we go. Still up to 50. All right, got her up to 60. Okay, nice. So me personally, y'all, whenever I'm driving uh, these cars, I like to put this through the track at least two times, man. Um, two times for sure. That way I can like double check my work and see if I missed any type of noise. And then also see if a noise does come that I didn't hear it in general in the first place because these cars, they sit a, a, a long, long time, you guys, um, especially in Minnesota with all this rust. Um, it, it can really, really affect everything with the vehicle. So I like to just double check, see what's going on. As we can see, we got the gauges looking what, like where they're supposed to be at, which is really, really nice. So yeah, this thing's driving really, really good, you guys. Um, if you guys did notice, I'll, I'll show you guys when I get up out of this car, um, but I'll show you the wheel well. That way you can see what, kind of like what this Minnesota Rust does to our vehicles here. Um, this is a great, great vehicle to check and see how much that rust affects it, man. So, um, but yeah, man, I'm gonna do that. We're gonna check out these electronics um, and see what they do as well. I forgot to do that. So um, check it at least twice, man. Run it through the through the uh, ramp tw uh, two times or the track two times. Um, if you hear anything that you don't know about, make sure that you go ahead and put it at least three times. Figure out what that noise is, man, because that noise that could be something that costs you, you know, an arm and a leg, or it could be something that's really, really catastrophic um, on that vehicle. You just bought you a, a turd, and then you're gonna be SOL. So just double check your your your, your work, man. All yeah. right, so radio's working, that's good. Actually, let me see something real quick. So yeah. that was on. Okay. All right, let's see. Sometimes these things, they they only work when you power them on. Nope, no backup camera, it's all good though. Um, so that's that. Um, let's check out the window, see if they're good, nice. All right, looks like we got four windows in here, so that's good. All right, let's see if this blower works. You wanna check out your electronics? Make sure that this stuff is working. Tally it up, all right? We got that working. Let's try to put this to our face, see if we got some hot heat. Wait on it to kick in, nice. Really hot, that's good. So we straight. So now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop out real fast and show you guys and before i do that look at all that that's death row man everything's been sold people just don't care about them man so look this is what minnesota does to our trucks man so when people that's my big pet peeve in minnesota is when somebody says hey did you guys does it got rust hell yeah it got rust we live in minnesota in <laughs> every car it's gonna have rust underneath man Okay, talking too much, man. I forgot to check out the 4x4. So here we go. We're going to put it in 4x4, four four, shift in progress. Nice. Put it in drive. Let's see if the 4x4 four four engages. Nice. All right. So I can tell that the 4x4 four four is engaging because it is. Look what it's doing. It's just jerking. It's jerking. You can hear it. You can feel it gauging. You can hear it. Uh, so now I'm going to put it in 4x4 four four low, see if anything funny pops up on the dash. It shouldn't. Nice. Uh, we got the traction control off. Um, I don't know for I don't know for a fact, man. Comment below. Let me know if that's normal in the F one fifty model for the traction control to come off 
um, when it's in low. I don't know. I might, you know, I don't want to say something I don't know nothing about, man. So, um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and put it back in two. So it's going to shift. Okay, shift delayed. I got to pull forward, it says. All right, so let's pull forward. Okay. All right, so it's on. So we good, man. All right, y'all, back at the Toyota Camry. I'm going to take this one on a drive and see what she does. Let's check this stuff out, man. Man, I, and I apologize, man. I know I've been sounding a little bit off, man, uh, with my videos. But every time I get on here, it's at the end of the day, and my brain just does not work, man. It's, <laughs> it's for real, for real. Um, but let's check out these... Uh, out these uh, windows, man. Let's see what's going on. All right, we looking good, man. We looking good. There we go. I really need to hire somebody to help me test drive these joints, man. For real. That's what I really need to do. I need to work on that, actually. Um, matter of fact, man, if anybody on here is looking for a job, and a lot of people inquire, say, hey, Chuck, can you put me on your license? Can I put you on my license? I'm gonna say that for the first and only time online. I'm not, I don't solicit my license. That's not how it works. I got a real legitimate car dealership, you guys. So no, I cannot rent out my license. I will not rent out my license, um, but I can hire people and you can learn from me um, as we, as I'm growing, you can learn, you know what I mean? Um, now, so let me say this to, uh, to you guys. Um, I got an email, it's, called, it's uh, Chuck, uh, what is it, Chuck? It's in the, it's in, <laughs> I got so many emails, man. I think it's Chuck, uh, dot collab now at gmail.com, but it's in the links in the description below. Go ahead and email me on there. And then, uh, but just, it has to be a resume. Um, you gotta email me a resume. Show me that you, um, that you are legit, man, because, um, the people that we have to deal with, we have to be able to articulate ourselves well. So that way they can feel comfortable with uh, spending money with us, man. So um, it's no offense to you, but I'm not I'm not responding to the, hey, man, can you put me on a license? Nah, bro, I cannot. I cannot, man. Um, so go ahead, send me your uh, your uh, resume. Your resume better be a resume um, to that email, you guys, and then we can make it happen. And I'm not saying that in a cocky way, you guys. I don't mean to offend nobody, but I'm just saying, like, I'm running a business and um, I'm trying to, uh, you know, build relationships with people that's going to help uh, me grow and help yourself grow as well of course you know so it's all about like the long jet the long haul of everything so um I'm, if i'm gonna invest in anybody then they gotta invest in me as well and they gotta show me that they're willing to do that um i'm not trying to you know put somebody on my license and then um they go and uh take everything that i didn't taught them and go start up their own dealership next week you know what i mean so i'm looking for somebody that uh, can come with me, learn from me, and at least stay with me for about a year or two and then go start your own dealership. Um, and then we be good. Let me check this hood real quick, y'all, before we throw this on the track. All right, we good. This car is a little rough, man. I'm not going to lie. Um, I felt a little play. And then look at this. I don't think that's normal. Um, but I felt a little play like in the steering wheel. So look. It's moving by itself. I'm not touching it. I don't know if you guys can even see it. Um, but let me put this dang seat real back on, man. Hold on. All right. So look, let's see what's going on. Oh uh, yeah, this it's kind of moving to the right a little bit. That was weird. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure this thing got front end damage. Matter of fact, because uh, when I think about it. It's got some like some little staple things in the front bumper and the way that this steering wheel is kind of acting I'm kind of thinking it's like got some bent parts in the front on the suspension um, Nothing crazy But it's gonna need a little bit of work in the front So whatever it is, it's gonna the parts gonna need to get replaced and It's gonna need alignment because it's moving a little bit as well But um, as far as like the as the body and all that and the inside of it I can, we can make this pop we can make this look like a new car at the uh, detail shop but um as far as that mechanical stuff yeah i think we're good man so yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and put this one on my list you guys 
Um, we're most definitely gonna bid on it tomorrow and uh, we're gonna see what it do. Um, I gotta go, I gotta jet, man. I gotta run to a, another auction actually um, and then uh, get on with my day, man. So I just wanted to hop on, just kind of keep y'all informed, give y'all some positive uh, information and uh, show y'all some cars in, in the same uh, in the same breath, man. So I'll see y'all on the next one, man. I'm out, peace.